Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I have another review for you guys. It is Outlaw Territory Volume 1, sort of an um, anthology western series from Image Comics. Um, now, being that it is um, an anthology, it's kind of hard to, to rate each individual story because there are over 30 here. It's a pretty big volume, and there are th over three volumes total. Um, but overall, um, if if the first trade is to be any indicator of the of um, volumes two and three, a lot of really a lot of really, really bloody and violent stories, and that might that might be that might sound logical to you, you know, because it's this is all about uh, the old west. Um, but it just really seemed needless. It just seemed like, hey, you know, we're on, you know, you know, we're putting out this series through Image Comics. So let's, you know, have all the um, you know, graphic violence and nudity that we can, you know, get away with here, you know. So, really gory, not really my type of thing. So that kind of put me off after, it seemed like every single store was uh, really, you know, really, really extreme in that in that sense. Although there were some others that were, that were you know, really graphic. Um, if you can handle that sort of thing, then by all means, check out this series. But it wasn't really for me, so I probably won't check out um, um, volumes uh, two or three. So um, I probably have to give it maybe a well, one out of five. The art wasn't really that great either. The closest I think was probably more Tat, who who um, actually went on to do All Star Western. I think his art got better in the uh, time um, since this book was put out. I think a good three or four years before I want to say. Where he started um, doing All Star Western, um, but he's probably the only person whose art I could really even tolerate. It, w it just isn't really very good, and a bunch of artists that I'd never heard of, and I think rightfully so. I, I, I didn't really find it very interesting at all. I did find their styles to be worthwhile, but then again, you know, this is all opinion, and you can uh, check out the book from your your library or, or buy it somewhere, and you may love it. But I didn't really enjoy it at all. So anyway, this is a, is a very short review. Sorry um, uh, if anyone out there was watching this expecting something really in-depth. Wasn't really a fan of the series. Or at least what I read of, of it. So um, I am going to give you a quick uh, preview of what I'm going to talk about next time. Which is, if I hold it uh, right side up here. Uh, DC, DC's Greatest Imaginary Stories featuring Batman and Robin. I think this is volume two, I want to say. Yeah. Anyway, it's about a bunch of, um, I think Silver Age, alternate reality, you know, stories with Batman and Robin. So hopefully I'll like that more than I liked Outlaw Territory, but uh, that's what you can expect uh, next time. So um, in the meantime, uh, happy reading.